Okay. And I, I like the finer things in life. Yeah. Don't we all? With the release of hit songs like One Night and Demon Time, rapper Lil Yachty has come to represent an evolution in the sound of hip hop. Some might call his performance method of choice mumble rap, but to Yachty, what he does is something a little different than that. He likes to call his use of sampling anime theme songs and video games a bubblegum trap, which most definitely has a nicer ring to it. Whether you like his music or not, Yachty has managed to purchase more than one place to call home thanks to his success in the rap game. And today we'll take a Look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Even with his critics, rapper Lil Yachty has managed to amass a net worth in the range of $8 million in a fairly short amount of time. Want to know one of the very first things this young man did with his money? He bought his mom a house, of course. After laying claim to his Son of the Year trophy, Lil Yachty then went ahead and dropped a whole boatload of cash on a home in Atlanta for himself before inviting nine of his childhood friends to move in with him. Clearly the man doesn't like living alone. But of course, with a dozen people living in one house, things could get a little bit crowded, even if you're calling McMansion home. So what did Lil Yachty do next? He bought the house right next door. In other words, Lil Yachty's real estate profile went from zero to hero in nearly record time. How come? Well, as Yachty once explained to High Snobiety, when you come from living in a dorm room with no clothes, no girls, no cars, and then you go to having three cars girls and money, you can't help but be genuinely happy that things are moving in a positive direction. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one on Lil Yachty. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's check out the three homes that make Lil Yachty feel so damn good. For about as long as hip hop has been around, newly successful artists nearly all partake in the rite of passage known as copying your mama house. Of course, back in the day, we just never heard about it all that much. There weren't as many avenues for someone like Ice Cube to let the world know that he had done right by his folks and set them up for life. Nowadays, things are different. I mean, we've got Instagram. So when a rapper drops a brick on damn near anything, we tend to know about it. Like when Lil Yachty spent a mint on a brand new home for his dear old mom. Tying this purchase in with his journey in the world of music, Lil Yachty included one of his lyrics from an unreleased Lil Boat 2 track saying, Made it out my mama's crib, then bought my mom's a crib. <laughs> Okay, maybe not the most thought-provoking or dramatic bar in the history of music. I'm starting to clue in as to why this song may have been unreleased. But I promise you that his mother's reaction to what her son had done for her was far more exciting. Her text read, You did it. You bought your mama a house today for real. I am so grateful to you for everything you've done for me. Words cannot explain how warm my heart is today. You have blessed me beyond measures. I love you so much. Okay, that's a lot of exclamation points. But hey, if your son had just bought you a brand new home, you'd probably be this excited too. Outside of how fire her living room setup is with its built-in fireplace, cozy gray love seats, custom pink lighting, and a nearly life-size picture of herself and Yachty, we don't know too much else about Mama Yachty's boat. After all, most celebrities don't like to shine too bright a light on their family members to maintain some privacy. On the other hand, that same rule doesn't necessarily apply to Lil Yachty's own home. These days, Lil Yachty lives in an idyllic suburban neighborhood in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Believe it or not, median age in his neighborhood probably hovers around the 50 mark. But ever since Lil Yachty moved in, that number has definitely taken a hit. Why? Well, Lil Yachty didn't come alone. Instead, he moved in with nine of his very best friends. How can you tell? Well, let's just say that the entrance to Lil Yachty's home screams young adult male. That with its gigantic air hockey table, wide open spaces, as well as life-size figures of both Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and who else? Batman. When asked by DJ booth why he's living with so many people, Lil Yachty told them, I have to live with my friends. I don't like to be alone. According to Yachty, prior to moving into this gorgeous nine bedroom home, he was living in a much smaller two bedroom condo with three of his friends. So in a sense, he's still doing what he's always been doing, just on a much bigger scale. And if you're wondering what domestic life is like for one of the most popular rappers out there, well, let's just say that it revolves around a lot of Call of Duty, Fortnite, girls, 
smoking out back while blasting music at an obscene level, and finding some time to kick back and play his very own translucent baby grand piano. As you might guess, all of that doesn't exactly leave a lot of time for these guys to properly take care of themselves. More often than not, their diet leaves a lot to be desired. In fact, the only kitchen appliance that apparently gets a workout is Yachty's air fryer, which the musician and his friends used to constantly cook their frozen food to perfection. Or at least the closest to perfection that frozen food can get. When asked what a typical meal in the Yachty home consists of, his house manager Darius Martin revealed, Yachty don't eat nothing but waffles, chicken nuggets, and pepperoni pizza. Well, at least now if you ever get invited to partake in the festivities at Casa La Yachty, you know exactly what to bring. And trust me, you want to be invited here. After all, how many homes do you know get compared to the likes of living in your very own John Hughes film? Yachty's content producer, Beef Jones, is actually about twice the age of everyone else in Yachty's circle, but even he can't believe how much fun he has whenever he drops by. I'm a 42 year old man and I have kids and mortgages and responsibilities. I come here and I'm instantly transported to my 20s on steroids. Ever since the pandemic kicked off last year, things have only been taken up a whole other level because while living under lockdown, Yachty has been inviting his fans into his home virtually by hosting a series of talent shows that involved him egging on people to accept dares to win a cash app prize of around $500 for doing things like eating deodorant or shaving their eyebrows or well, this. Oh. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that was, but I'm sure a majority of you can guess. Of course, as much fun as living with nine of your best friends in the world can be, when everyone is stuck under the same roof for such an extended period of time, even in a house as nice as Yachty's, something's gotta give. But before anything like that could happen, the rapper came up with a better idea. He'd simply buy another house. A lot of rappers drop bars about buying the block, but Lil Yachty almost made it a reality when he scooped up his neighbor's house in October. October of 2020. According to the video that Yachty posted about the place, the primary reason he decided to expand his real estate profile, well, it was because he was tired of having neighbors. And on the 28th, I actually bought a house next door. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want, a I didn't want no neighbors. I'm gonna show you. Only a man who's done as well as Lil Yachty can really have enough cash to make this dream a reality. As for what the home looks like inside, well, Yachty has yet to show off the interior of this particular residence, which makes me think that it's a home away from home for either himself or his friends when life at the main house gets a little too crowded. All right, guys, I think it's time to bring this house tour to an end. After seeing what we could see about rapper Lil Yachty's homes and the one he bought for his mom, what did you guys think? What did you like best about his main mansion? Would you rather live alone or with a whole group group of your friends. Be sure to answer those questions or let me know what you thought of Yachty's home life in the comments down below. My name is Kara and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!